supposed to leave from Alamogordo, but we're leaving from Tularosa uh, for Site Trinity, the first atomic bomb. I'm just going to follow this great big convoy onto the base, onto the Tule Road, which is from the east side of the town, from Tularosa. Here I'm going onto the base, and you can see White Sands National Monument to the left. This is an active base used by the military, and there's mountains surrounding the whole area. The military uses for weapon testings, and it's active all the time. White Sands Range Police. Uh, leading into the site, you can see the hundreds of vehicles, and they have some uh, buses here for bringing people on. Here we are on the big convoy, and people have brought their dogs. Can't believe the carnival atmosphere. People are here with dogs, and they're buying t-shirts of the of the site. There's lots of t-shirts being sold, as well as t-shirts for selling food, and they have literature about the atomic bomb and about the Manhattan Project. Right when you first get to the site, they have the uh, outer casing of the bomb still left from 1945. There it is right there. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's not radioactive, I guess, but you can still go up and take pictures and take a look at it. You can see the top and the bottom were blown off it because of the thickness. It, it actually stayed pretty well intact, actually. I guess it isn't radioactive. They wouldn't be letting us uh, say it or kids play on it. I don't know if this was repositioned after 1945 or well, whether it was blown here. I'm not really sure. It doesn't say. But anyway, people are having a blast taking a look at it. And you can see the signs that say radioactive materials as we enter the site area itself. I mean, people love getting pictures of the radioactive signs. I mean, they're, they're big back in the 50s, not so much these days. But I guess it's, it, it's a good picture opportunity, but it does warn you about the radioactive area. Here we have the portable washrooms used for the many hundreds or thousands of people here. This is one of the coolest things, the sign that shows the, uh, where the toilets are, where the Trinity site are, and where Ground Zero is. Ground Zero being where they dropped the actual bomb. And another picture of the radioactive materials. It was a long walkway between the outer fence and the other fence, and they've added some wheelchair accessible carts. Here I'm on the outside of the actual drop area, and you can see people going from their vehicles through, and they've let some vehicles park up close by. I think it was a nice gesture to have, uh, you know, cart carting some of the people that can't walk the distance. But uh, here is the actual site itself. Trinidad was formed from the actual bomb hitting the sand there, and it's a special compound only found here at White Sands because the white sand uh, actually melted into glass. I have information about the actual tower that blew up and uh, the bomb so many seconds in, into the explosion. Army personnel are enjoying it, and as hundreds of people around the actual site. There's a monolith right in the very center where it was actually dropped in 1945. People love taking their pictures around this, this actual monolith. I guess it was the world's first nuclear explosion, nuclear detonation, and uh, it's like a keepsake for a lot of these people. But they seem way too happy, almost way too happy for, I guess it was the beginning of the nuclear age. July 16th, 1945. It's the actual date, and as I said, everybody seems to be queuing up and letting other people take the pictures, but uh, it's, uh, as I said, a little strange, the happiness or the jovial atmosphere at the site of a nuclear blast. I guess it's a hangar or a, a keepsake for most people to actually come here and see the actual spot in New Mexico where the Manhattan Project actually fulfilled its uh, mission and made the uh, ushered us into the nuclear age. This is, I mean, you down to earth America, your average person that wants, you know, come and see. This is a piece of the uh, tower that was actually embedded in it, and they've sort of sectioned it off. And here's a mock-up, the actual bomb itself. The actual bomb itself was Fat Man, and their little boy was uh, Hiroshima one. This was the one used over Nagasaki. I think this was uh, dropped on the 16th of July, and the Hiroshima bomb was on the 6th. So it was like three weeks later they actually dropped the little boy. Well, three days later by the Nakasami uh, fat man bomb, which is the, this is a mock up. There's some guy jumped up and it was doing a Slim Pickens Major Kong from uh, from the movie. Uh, there's another guy doing a Major Kong on top of the uh, Fat Boy bomb here, White Sands. Yeah, some people seem to want to show their children the nuclear weapon and get their picture with it. Uh, which is very strange to me, and I can see a lady getting her picture. Military even getting in on it, jumping up on top of the bomb, getting your picture while on active duty, which is, I didn't ex expect that either. Again, maybe it's a keepsake or uh, or some type of uh, commodity. I, I don't understand. There's a guy that was riding the bomb before. But the kids are really interested in it, learning about nuclear weapons when they're at a young age. I definitely find this a lot more interesting, the actual fat man uh, model versus the actual monolith. 
after the model, we, this is the fence line, and they've put pictures all along showing the bomb, the the Manhattan Project, uh, a little bit about the ranch where they where the scientists did did the uh, bomb out here, and it's fairly interesting. You know, as I said, showing the actual bomb de de detonation over you know two or three seconds and the impact of the bomb and uh, what it did to the tower itself, the 100-foot tower. Uh, I imagine most of people already know about the bomb, but uh, you know it was open, I guess, in the 60s. A little bit about the bomb being dropped in Nagasaki, or, or Hiroshima, I should say, first, but then later on. But here's the Trinidite that was uh, fused into the uh, sand. They built a little enclosure over it because so many people were taking it. This guy's actually uh, got a radiation detector, a radioactive detector. He's an engineer. And he's here uh, showing us the radioactivity of the uh, actual pieces that he found on the on the ground. Certainly a lot of little keepsakes you can take at a place like this. A lot of memories to take home of your visit to White Sands and Site Trinity. Here's the actual bomb from 1945. Actual travel uh, channels here. And they're interviewing some ladies from Colorado Springs. And they're explaining their uh, why they like nuclear weapons, I guess. More pictures of the actual fat bomb, fat man bomb. And uh, guy's still getting up on it, doing slim pickings. It's there's a never-ending group of them here. This gentleman's from Germany, I believe. A little slim picking the satire of riding a nuclear weapon to its uh, detonation. The cowboy hat off and riding it, doing yeehaw all the way right to its detonation. It's, uh, of course, Peter Sellers uh, was in Doctor Strange Love, a famous movie with uh, slim pickings. Was the character that rode the bomb, Major Khan. White Sands yeah. Missile Base, the police it. don't like it too much, they're kicking this guy off the pond. You don't want to. So that's not going to be allowed anymore. So lots of people taking pictures, just looking at the bomb and enjoying the afternoon, I guess. And uh, I don't know what they're really thinking, to be honest, just getting a lot of picture opportunities. The atmosphere is definitely jovial and very happy. Uh, as I said, even the bikers came, rode in to see the bomb and see Site Trinity. Lots of pictures, lots of video occurring, yeah. lots of and uh, lots of people uh, bring, brought their dogs. Tons of dogs. Can't believe how many people brought dogs. I spent 100 dogs in total. And uh, lots of history, which is cool. This guy brought his iPad. Travel channel, they don't, they don't really want to talk to everybody, just the people that uh, are a little bit more sympathetic to the site. Um, and we got some more dogs checking the monolith out, and people get more picture opportunities. It is the first Saturday in April, and it's getting fairly hot here in the New Mexico desert. You know, probably low 80s, high 70s, so dogs are getting hot by midday, and uh, I wanted to videotape the Travel Channel. Here I'm walking back to the car, and the dog's walking back to the car, jumping into my little rental, and going to be off White Sands Missile Base.